we live in a world where we face so many challenges and challenges of overwhelm us uh, in a lot of ways I take strength and encouragement from Philippians mm -hmm. uh, this is Apostle Paul in uh, the book of Philippians uh, where we are encouraged not to be anxious we easily get anxious because of things that happen around us challenging us and challenging our faith but in the scripture he encourages us not to be anxious but instead he says in each and every circumstance uh, we should uh, bring our request to the Lord this is with with the uh, prayer and supplication with thanksgiving and when we bring these challenges to the Lord and hand him over our, our request the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guide our hearts and minds and that scripture gives me comfort to know that uh, this is what we can do and when we look at the scripture there are people that did this in the, in the in the old testament and in the new testament we can think about hannah how he was in the sanctuary and he was hurting because he, she didn't have a child mm. and she was in the sanctuary she couldn't even say a word of what she wanted to pray about mm -hmm. but in her heart she was talking to the Lord and asking for that blessing of that child yeah. and Eli thought maybe she was drunk yeah he says and she said no I'm not I'm praying and seeking the Lord to bless me mm. with the son and Eli said to him I hope your your prayer gets answered and, and it was answered yeah yeah and she was blessed with the son uh, Samuel mm. who when he was born Hannah promised that she'll take it back to the house of the Lord yeah to save yeah. the Lord yeah so good and, so that story is a good example for a for, to, to emphasize about the power of prayer isn't it because when we pray God hears and Hannah prayed in her distress and God heard uh, her prayer and that shows why we have to pray as you said yeah. during our difficult times anxious times instead of worrying uh, as you mentioned like we should pray to God and stop being anxious um, uh, isn't it Yes, and it, it has to be an earnest prayer, mm. as, as the Bible reminds us that the prayer of an earnest person, as we know that this happened with uh, Elijah, uh, it, do, it does wonders. And it doesn't have to be audible. Yeah. Again, going back to Hannah, she was not able to say the words. And the prayer was answered because the Lord knew what was in her heart and mm -hmm. what she was praying about. And that's why we are also reminded not to pray in the corners of the street for everybody to see us mm. because it's not the way we shouldn't be showing off that we are praying but the Lord encourages us to to pray in, in secret in, in the private room mm. and he who hears and sees from the place above will answer us yeah that's that's very good and um here in the co we we uh, we have a time of prayer um once a week um and if you have if you're watching this if you have any prayer requests that you want us to pray for we remember all of your prayer requests so if you have any prayer requests you can send it to us via social media or email it to me and um thanks for uh, joining this edition of freecast thanks israel Thank for you. joining thanks for having me